Hello, 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 and welcome to another live episode of The Homeowner Show. Uh, here live with the net at Pedro's in Conroe. We got a special guest with us tonight. Excited to get into this with you guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, subscribing, and hitting all of the love and like buttons for the show. Uh, Cameron, how you doing, my friend? Oh, doing? Pull, pull, that, pull that right up to your mouth there, bud. I'm doing great. Thank you. Oh, look at that. You got a radio voice. You didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I brought that special tonight. Yeah. So r- real quick before we get into it, I want to thank you to our sponsor, Lone Star Appliance Repair. If you need an appliance repaired, give them a call at 936-647-2364. Incredible company. Happy to have them on as a sponsor. Uh, Cameron, real quick, uh, we actually just started using you in our business. Correct. Let everybody know what you do. Okay. So, um, you know... In general, I help people take back control from the government, uh, take back uh, control from taxation, mm-hmm. and keep more of what you make. That's kind of the, the thing I am looking to do. And so um, with your company in particular, uh, we did a group plan. We were talking about retirement benefits right. uh, and doing that in a way that's not a 401K. In a 401K, you have a lot of restrictions and rules. Um, what you do for one, you have to do for all. Um, in right. my, my program that we offer to you, we're able to do an executive carve-out plan that allows us to pick and choose who we want to include in the plan mm-hmm. and at what level we want to match those individuals. Yeah. And so um, you can't do that in a 401k because, again, what you do for one, you can't do, you have to do for all. Right. Um, our program, again, has that unique ability to flex and do what you want to do. In your case, we offered it to all of your employees, but it might be a situation where they want to offer it to their exec team or maybe just the owner wants to have benefits himself but doesn't want to have that necessarily yet for all those employees, you might want to add them later. Yeah. And we can come back and do that. And there's no time of year we have to do that. It can be done anytime. Right. Which is great because if there's an employee that I have that I don't like, I can exclude them openly. <laughs> right? <laughs> Open shame. That's right. <laughs> You're not doing so great, bud. Step yeah. it up. Yes, Maybe exactly. you'll get into the plan. Exactly right. <laughs> well, and I, I, know, I think a lot of people think of a 401k. It was never designed to be a retirement vehicle, right? I mean, like, and, 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 and so like, I mean, it's, it's better than nothing, but like you're, you're saying that there's a way for, for individuals and companies to provide a, a, a better way to retirement. That's correct. Yeah. So the owner, the, the inventor of the 401k came out recently and said it was a good plan at the time. Mm-hmm. We were in a high tax bracket at the time, but they were thinking that when they, they retired, they'd be in a lower tax bracket. And that was probably true at that time. But right now we're in a low tax environment compared to where we've been right. historically. And so we'll likely be um, seeing much higher taxes in the future. And so if you have a tax deferred vehicle, you're deferring tax off until later, then you're going to pay tax. Mm-hmm. And that tax could be drastically higher. Um, if we look at the way the, um, the debt with our country's going, we have $33 trillion of reported debt. Right. But if you look at usdebtclocks.org, there's another number called um, unfunded liabilities. That's $170 trillion. Add that to the $33 trillion, you're over $200 trillion of debt. Yeah. Experts are saying that taxes could double in the next 15 years. Yeah. I mean, like 200 trillion sounds like un, un, <laughs> unreconcilable. It's scary what that is. It's, yeah. It, it's, it, we've never been in this territory before. Yeah. In a place we've never been. Yeah. So, um, you know, having that be a vehicle that can, the, one, the way we put it together, we can grow that money tax free and we can take it out tax free. We're not looking at pushing tax off and ta- paying tax down the road. It's going to be growing tax free, coming out tax free for those folks who are in the plan. Yeah. And one of, one of the other cool things that I, that I know that you mentioned to us when we were getting it all set up is that the people, once those, once those plans are funded at, to a certain level, they can actually borrow against That's them. That's correct. That can happen very quickly too. Um, in a lot of cases in the second year. Yeah. And well, and like, to me, it was like, okay, like it's cool that you can borrow against them, but you were telling me like those, those accounts continue to mature. Like, as if that money was still there. That's correct. So that's a, so cool. a very unique vehicle. Um, when we have money building this account, mm-hmm. that money becomes available to borrow from. When we borrow, that money is still in our account, and we have a loan out for that money that we're putting to work somewhere, somewhere else. Right. We're putting the same dollar to work in two places. Yeah. Very few places you can get that done. And then what is really amazing, too, on top of that is we have arbitrage. So if your loan rate's at 4%, that you're borrowing in a smaller amount, but your total account value is much larger and it's earning seven, eight, nine percent. Mm-hmm. You have arbitrage working in your favor. Yeah. 
So um, that creates a very unique situation. I had a, a, something that happened recently that kind of plays into what we're talking about. I'm look, always looking for business owner benefits and how do we, again, um, take back control, keep more what we make. Um, I had a situation recently. My vehicle was leased because it was a tax write-off for my business because mm-hmm. it's for business use. Um, when that uh, lease was up, I talked to the people who had, had the lease with, with the vehicle, and I said, um, you know, what are my options? They said, well, you can bring it back and just turn it in. You can get another vehicle here, or you can um, – buy out your lease right and i said well that's interesting what's the lease buyout they told me the number it was about twenty five thousand dollars less than what my vehicle was worth mm. so i borrowed from my uh plan uh-huh. and i paid that vehicle off and now the money i was paying on the lease monthly i pay back into my account there you go <laughs> so um i'm making money while i'm using that money in that fashion there you go that's cool very cool i mean it, I, and it's good when you can be your own bank Exactly right. Yeah. So that's that's what that is, is becoming the bank and not having to go to a banker, but being the banker. So right. So creates a very unique uh, benefit. So, I mean, this is this is a networking meeting for, you know, business owners and, and things like that. Do you have to own a business or be part of a company in order to access plans like this? Great question. So um, I work with businesses and individuals. Okay. And so an individual can have a plan like this themselves. mm mm-hmm. um, there's one piece that they wouldn't get, and that's a, there's a tax deduction as a business expense when you have this as a company plan okay. that, that benefits the business owner. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have an individual plan, not, not through a business, you're not a business owner, um, you miss that one piece about tax, uh, tax break on the money going in, okay. but you still have that tax-free growth and tax-free income coming out. Okay. Well, and, could, and the borrowing ability and, the, and being your own bank. Could, could you also do it through like a trust maybe if you're an individual? You could do that for sure. You can yeah. have a trust involved and have the trust um, own the, the program. So would, there's would, a lot of ways to put that together. Would they get the benefit like a business would if they did it through a trust or is that different? Uh, well, the tax benefits are the same with the vehicle, whether that's a trust or not. That, okay. just, that just adds a layer of protection. I got you. The trust us. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if it operated like an LLC or any, anything like that. So. Multiple ways to set the trust up, but um, <laughs> that, that's kind of like a tool in addition to yeah. the program itself. Probably a good question yeah. for an attorney. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're the ones who set the trust up. So, well, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, it, well, anything else everybody needs to know? Um, well, I think that there's a lot of things that we can do with the tax code, and and I think that um, you know I'm not anti-government or um, anything anti-tax. We should pay tax mm. that we or, sure. Oh, but we, oh. But we can also take a look at the tax code and see what can we take advantage of that's there for us. Right. The tax code is there for people to use, and it's thick. Right. <laughs> so we need to find those places in the tax code that, that allow us to take a tax advantage or a tax benefit and then put more in our pocket right. less going out to the government. Well, I mean, I, I, someone explained to me that not, not the entire tax code, but I mean, like a good way to look at taxes is it's the government telling you how they want you to spend your money Correct. or where you want, where they want you to put your money because they will give you incentives to put it where they think they want it to go. That's right. Now it's, it's your job to, to work through that and figure out whether or not that's beneficial to you or helpful to you. But like, they're going to tell you through, you know, rebates and credits and, and, and all sorts of tax breaks, like how they think and how they want people to be investing their money uh, at, at that time. Yeah, you said a, 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 it correctly. It's an incentivization, mm-hmm. incentivizing people to, to do something. And when we take advantage and we understand those codes, there's a lot we can do. Yeah, because most so, people look at it like a penalty. Right. Uh-huh. A lot of people look to their CPAs for that, and CPAs are great at keeping you in line and keeping you in, uh, you know, out, in, within the codes, what the codes say. Right. But they're not usually looking for all the strategies and they're not usually tax planners they're tax um managers they do your tax <laughs> yeah. um, forms for you and keep you in compliance but they're not really there um most of them aren't um that savvy with the actual um ways that we can save taxes and, mm. and the, the codes that we can use for those things yeah well um if if you've you know maybe made somebody more curious about what it is that you do and they're interested in, in finding out more about it how do they get a hold of you uh, well, my website is um, arsretirement.com. They can go there and take a look. I'm revamping the website right now, so that'll be new very soon. It's in the works. Oh, cool. I'm um, putting some videos, a lot of things on there that we didn't have before. Um, my cell phone number, um, direct number is 281-250-2517. Okay. And they can also um, retire, uh, email me at retirewell, um, I'm sorry, um, arsretirement.com. Mm-hmm. Cameron at ARSRetirement.com. Fantastic, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for sitting down. Yes. Uh, thankful to everybody for listening in here live and out there on Facebook and the YouTubes. 
Uh, join us next time, and we'll uh, have another great episode. Cameron, thank you so much for sitting down, bud. Thank you, Craig. Appreciate right. it. Y'all have a good night.